Hi everyone, my name is Adriana Maria Martinez Figueroa. I'm one of the contributors for Buddy Con La Luna, edited by the fabulous Elena Ponte. First off, I want to say thank you to Elena for inviting me to uh, read some poetry and for inviting me to be a part of this wonderful collection. I have two poems in this anthology and the first one is titled Reusable Heart, which I will be reading right now. My foremothers invented reusing. I say this because mommy must have learned the act of reusing plastic containers from someone. And I suspect it was abuela, but my abuela must have learned from someone too. I say this because my abuela is the first one to use the jar of minced garlic to store her homemade sofrito. And that jar of sofrito ends up in my mother's fridge. When mommy asks me to take out their sofrito, I take out a tub of butter with passion fruit jam in it, a tub of butter with tomato sauce in it, a tub of butter with actual butter in it, all before I ask her where it is. And she says, it's behind the pote de salsa de spaghetti. And I take out the jar of garlic that has sofrito, but I smell it before handing it to mommy because it's actually pesto, all before I actually find it behind the thing of hummus. When she's done with our sofrito, she hands me the empty jar. It had housed so many other foodstuffs. I wonder how many lovers I've, start, I've stored in my own heart-shaped container before handing my container for someone else to make of it whatever they see fit. I wonder if my four, my four mothers were ever taught how to deal with an overflowing container that has lost sense of what it originally was supposed to hold inside. I wonder if they've ever filled their own containers over and over, a cycle of empty and full, as to not remember. I wonder if they poured all of the love they hold in their heart-shaped containers, or if they just used separate jars or tubs of margarine or buckets. Maybe these jars, buckets, tubs are in constant entropy. Maybe my life is headed there, a body full of things that do not belong, a body that has forgotten what it was supposed to be in the first place. Hold for applause, hold for applause. Thank you. <laughs> and the second poem is titled, What is Home? It's an ode to my hometown, which is Vega Baja. So here it is. Home is una coronita on a cloudless day in la playa de Vega Baja. Un tronqui in a car with no AC, but an icy held to your cheek. A conversation that can't be heard well in a booth at Padillas learning how to skip stones in La Laguna with your best friend, gossiping about people we don't really like in the backyard, my cats asking for a little love and needing my boob, complaining about yet another power outage, that una car is ready to go because of the power outage, mommy asking me to go a la tiendita a buscar, a buscar hielo por si acaso, papi asking me to explain again how Instagram works, My brother saying he'll go with me at Colmado, but only if he can pick the music. My brother only playing Bad Bunny for the 10 minutes it takes to get the ice and return. Abuela already calling a ver si ustedes tienen luz. Madrina, Alejandro, Nicole, Titi, and so many, so many. Relearning what your purpose in your family is. Becoming friends with your family because your friends left a long time ago. Cracking open another coronita and knowing that at least tonight we're going to see a sky full of stars. For tonight, we still have each other. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Again, you can find me at Boricua Reads on Twitter and Instagram, and on my website, BoricuaReads.com. Bye! Thank you!